Hey, what's up everyone? Bigfoot here. It's summertime right now, and if you're anything like me, you try to get outside as much as you can. Now, there are a lot of things that happen in the summer that really draws us outside. That might be your kids' sporting events, maybe it's going out for a hike, or even heading out to the woods for a canoe trip like I did this last 4th of July weekend. Whatever the case is, there's always a few items that you're probably always in need of in the summer. One of those items is a nice lawn chair. Now, whether that's you have your backyard barbecues and you have friends over, or you need some extra chairs because you're going out to the beach, or again, your sporting event for your kids. But I know for me, I'm always looking for lawn chairs or camp chairs. A few years ago, I actually purchased one of the uh, Helinox camp chairs and really got this because it was small and compact and I could bring this uh, to places and keep this in the uh, back of my truck or the back of my escape, not take up a lot of room. The only problem was it was really expensive. I liked the weight of it, but not so much the price tag. So today I'm going to review a better option that is a little more compact and way cheaper. And that is the Wolfwise camp chair. So the Wolfwise camp chair uh, comes looking like this, very compact here. I wanna kinda of do a demonstration of how to set this up. It's actually really easy. Then I also want to go through and just uh, talk a little bit about uh, the specs on this thing and then what my thoughts were when I took it out for a test run in the Bounty Waters this weekend. So the uh, weight of this thing, which is uh, probably what most of you are concerned about, comes in at 2.2 pounds. That's what the manufacturer states. However, when I, uh, took out the chair out of its uh, carrying case and then it comes with a couple of uh, really heavy duty carabiners and just weighed this it came in at one point uh, actually one pound 15.8 ounces so just under two pounds so if you're trying to shave some weight you can shave a quarter of a pound by just carrying this and rubber banding it together if you're concerned that much about a quarter of a pound of weight now, uh, the dimensions on this thing uh, come in at uh, open dimensions, a height of 15 inches, 22 by 26 by 24 inches. And the, uh, the carry bag itself is 14 by three and a half inches by five inches. So that's a little bit about just kind of what the dimensions look like. Uh, compared uh, to my Helinox, it is considerably smaller and compact than that. And I'll kind of show you a comparison once I do set it up. The, uh, the setup of this actually is really easy. So everything is held together by shock cord. So when you uh, open this thing up, you are just going to set everything in place, which is going to be your four legs. And then the, uh, the four tops. This is what the skeleton is going to look like. And then when you put on the chair here. The wolf wise is going to go on the right hand side. There's little pockets on the back. You can see right there. And those pockets are going to go over each one of the frame rods. Now the, uh, the top is fairly easy. On the bottom, you do have to uh, pull it a little bit to get it on the rods. It's the same with my Helinox, it's nothing terrible. But that's it. That's how you set this thing up really easy. I mean, it literally takes, what was that? 20 seconds if I wasn't talking to, to set this thing up. Now, the uh, weight that you can, uh, the manufacturer states that this thing can hold is 242 pounds. Now, I did not test uh, up to that weight. Uh, everyone that uh, went on this trip list last week and weighed below 200 pounds. But what I would say is, number one, I. I I love how compact it is. I love the weight. So I brought both this chair and my Helinox chair with, and I bought this Helinox chair a lot for the Boundary Waters and have been taking it on my canoe trips uh, for the past few years. But you can see kind of the difference in size. If you are taller, this might not work as well for you. I am five foot eight, and I would say that this is probably a comfortable size for me when I'm out there 
you know, in the middle of canoe country, like I did this last weekend, maybe at a sporting event, uh, lounging around, drinking a beer. Any shorter than this, I uh, I think it would be just fine, but taller than me, you know, 5'10", getting up to six feet, you, uh, I don't know how comfortable that it would be. So uh, that is one thing that I did notice. Now, in terms of the durability and the stability of this, uh, this is uh, not as solid as the Heliox. Now, the Heliox is, of course, bigger, it uh, weighs more, and costs quite a bit more. Uh, this chair right here cost me $140. Um, they do have a sister chair that is very similar with the dimensions of this that uh, comes in uh, at the same weight. Uh, actually, it's just a little bit under 1.9 pounds, uh, but it also costs $100. This Wolf Lies chair, on Amazon, you can purchase this for $32, and uh, actually I was able to get the manufacturer to give a 20% discount from now until July 31st. So if you wanted to score this even cheaper, you can get it for, I think it works out to be under $27, like $26.58 or something like that. Uh, for this chair, if you're a Prime member, uh, shipping is free, so uh, it doesn't include tax. But you know, when you compare 26, 27 bucks for this, and then it's sister chair here, 100 bucks, I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, you know, I can think of so many different uses that uh, I can take this out. I, I honestly, I, I think that there are a lot of things that you can use these camp chairs, lounge chairs for, and having the ability to be able to just kind of throw it in the back of your trunk that does not take up a lot of space, definitely uh, says something. So now I did read some other reviews of this on Amazon. It gets four out of five stars. The few Folks that rated this below four stars. Uh, one said that he weighed just over 200 pounds and it broke when he sat on it. Another said there was some stitching issues with this. And, uh, and then the other uh, person said that he was a little bit taller for this and it was a little too short for him. Anyway, we used it all weekend. Both, both Miss Bigfoot, uh, my brother Brett and his fiance uh, actually recommend this and they said that uh, they would buy this for uh, 27 bucks for uh, how good of a deal it is and what we used it for. And We actually put this in the middle of my uh, canoe, my Penobscot, and uh, it was just short enough to be able to actually sit down when we had four of us in the, uh, the canoe and it didn't throw us off balance. It actually worked out pretty good. So overall, for 27 bucks, I would, uh, I would recommend this chair here. Uh, I don't know that it's gonna last as long as your Heliox. Uh, we'll see kind of over time, but, but again, for a fourth or a third of the price, I uh, definitely think that it's worth it. So I will put uh, all of the details in the description box below along with the coupon code. So if you wanna buy it, make sure you put the coupon code in at checkout so you can get that 20% off. You don't wanna pay more than 27 bucks because that's what's gonna work out after you put that coupon code in. So anyway, guys, I uh, just wanted to do a little update. So stay tuned for more gear reviews here on the channel. And remember to always follow Bigfoot.